it doesn't leave that smell on you. It's just like if I pick this up and smell it, I'm like, oh, I kind of get a salami vibe from it. So do with that what you will. Wow, I haven't done a proper sit down Lush video in a hot minute. Now, if you haven't seen my Lush shop with me, I posted that a few weeks ago now. And you basically see me purchase all of these products, not all of them, but I did want to do a little bit of a review and a follow up on some of the products and let you know what products I've been loving because there was some new discoveries, some old favorites. And you know, I know you guys love the Lush videos, so I figured I'd share with you guys. Okay, so first things first, the biggest, most major success out of that most recent Lush haul was all the Lush fragrances. I ended up picking up Lush American Cream Perfume, the Coco Loco Body Spray, and the Yuzu and Coco Body Spray, and also one other body spray, which I don't have right now because my mom stole it from me. It's the, um, what is it called? Avocado Co-Wash, and that one just smells absolutely insane. These are all very much so in like the more citrus, vanilla, sweet side of the fragrance family, but they're not like disgustingly sugary sweet. They're just so, so lovely. I actually just talked about all these fragrances in depth in my last monthly favorites video. So if you want to hear a little bit more about these products and why I love them so much, definitely check that one out. But basically, long story long, they are just also incredible and I've been marinating my entire body in a different fragrance each day. American Cream has been like my staple go-to. The perfume is going to be a bit more concentrated in terms of fragrance and the perfumes are a bit more expensive. Also, this video seems alarmingly zoomed in. Oh, that feels much better. We were <laughs> way too zoomed in. Oh, and now the sun is coming in crazy. Okay, we are back now for the third time. Anyways, as I was saying, Lush perfumes typically are a bit more expensive, more concentrated though, so you need to like spray less of them. And then the body sprays, I can be a little more generous with the spray, although I do find these still very fragrant. Coco Loco just smells like a coconut paradise and just like I should be drinking a pina colada on an island somewhere. I probably would only use this in the summertime though. Yuzu and Coco is just kind of like a year round sweet citrus scent. It's kind of like a chocolate orange, but don't be turned off by that because I actually hate chocolate and orange together, but the smell of it together is ideal. And then the avocado co-wash body spray is like lime Pez candy mixed with summery citrus brightness and just, I can't even, I actually have the hardest time describing what avocado co-wash smells like because it does not smell like avocado because avocado smells like nothing. But it's just this invigorating, delicious, like obsessive smell. I can't explain it. It's so, so good. I've literally just been using these fragrances on the daily. It was such a huge standout. Right now, Lush fragrance is just my ultimate obsession. You know what? I feel like I've been getting, you know, some compliments lately. I'm just like, ooh, you smell good. And I'm like, Lush, baby. Okay, some other products that I've been loving a ton. This here, now these are gonna, this is why I kind of don't like doing Lush follow-up videos because half the time the product is gone because I've used it, like a bunch of the bath bombs, which on that note, I will say the Lush salt cubes are incredible. I had the pink one and the blue one. I used both of them and they're so good and I just, I love them. They're so amazing. They dissolve really, really quickly and they're definitely not like a show-stopping bath bomb. They don't visually look like much in the water, but I'm kind of at the phase of life now where I just want a bath bomb in terms of like, the fragrance and the aromatherapeutic effect. So I just really like the idea of the salt cubes. Also, it makes cleanup a lot easier. So I've been absolutely loving those. I used those like in the first week when I got them. But other products that, you know, as I use, they get a little gross looking are soaps. So I already used Parsley Porridge. That soap was just like a classic. And again, just like a great, oh, I just mowed the lawn, but I want to be squeaky clean again kind of energy. Like you've been working hard all day. You just want a nice, good suds. So Parsley Porridge definitely still is a, a good a good one in my books but sexy peel has been just like a new love for me i don't know why i never really would use this soap like i don't think i had ever actually purchased it before maybe once like years ago it's really just so good now this looks mm, absolutely disgusting because it's been sitting in my shower but yeah this just basically smells like lemony pledge zesty freshly juiced lemonade summer clean brightness those are just all the adjectives that come to mind when I think about this soap. And I mean, it's like a classic Lush product for a reason. But a little like win, something that I wasn't expecting about this product is that it actually works really good for soap brows. Now, any makeup lovers out there, you know, feathered brows have been a trend for a while. And the trend of soap brows, which is basically when you kind of like stick your eyebrows, like you stick them up. <laughs> Typically you would use a clear like glycerin based soap or there's a few like makeup products that specifically do that. But I just kind of experimented one day and tried this soap and this one oddly works really well. And of course, since it smells delicious, I'm just happy using it. So I've been using that for both my eyebrows and you know, just for hygiene purposes lately. So really big fan of this soap and I just, 
I've been liking it. Ooh, another product that I was so happy to have back in my life, and I actually didn't realize how much I was missing this, and this is Big Shampoo. Now, you guys know, I have very flat, I've got very flat hair. I've got a big head, but flat hair. Big is basically a shampoo that promises a lot of volume. It kind of stimulates your scalp. There's a ton of coarse sea salt inside, so it's kind of got like chunks of these thick sea salt in there. And I mean, you would not normally expect a soap to come in like a little black pot like this, but you just kind of scoop some out. It still lathers up like normal, but the chunky sea salt is just so good at like actually physically exfoliating your scalp. And this isn't a soap that I, or a soap. This isn't a shampoo that I would use every single time I wash my hair because it is a bit more of a deep cleaning shampoo. But this is a soap that I'll use maybe once every three times I shampoo my hair, or if I feel like I have a lot of product buildup. And let's be real, here in quarantine, I've been not washing my hair enough and it's been it's just been needing some extra help by the time I get in the shower and commit to washing it so this is a good shampoo to kind of break through all that clutter really lift up any old product and um, get the scalp feeling good and the hair looking shiny plus the smell of big is just it's nice okay what else do I have here oh I need to talk about this a lot of you guys were commenting being like Jacqueline we need to follow up on this product and that is white fang toothpaste jelly now if you're anything like me and you're like what is a toothpaste jelly it is exactly what it sounds like. It's literally a vegan friendly jelly that mm, it, it looks so gross. You know, I feel a little feel a little vulnerable showing you my like half used gunk toothpaste. It's just like a jelly material and you kind of like scoop your toothbrush in there. And at first it sounds kind of gross, but the more that I thought about it slash once I actually started using it, I kind of was like, oh, toothpaste is a weird gel kind of texture anyways. A toothpaste jelly isn't that far off in texture. So, you know, I've actually really been liking it. It is very, very minty. Sometimes it's so pepperminty to the point that it like, like, you know, when you're chewing mint gum and you drink a sip of water and you're like, it, burns, but in a cool way. Like that is exactly what this does. It is so, so pepperminty and spearminty that it makes you kind of like have a moment, but it really makes your mouth feel clean. And it oddly is like very good. I, I can't explain it. It's weird. I definitely still have like my regular traditional toothpaste that I use at least once a day, but sometimes at night or if I'm doing like a midday brush, I'll go in and use this just to kind of change it up and to get that fresh pearly white feeling. So odd success. I don't know if this is something I would race back out to repurchase, but it's definitely fun and just kind of interesting. And to be completely honest, I hear so many bad things about conventional traditional toothpaste. Like there's bad, I don't know what the actual chemical or product or ingredient is inside that's harmful, whether it be to you, your health or the environment. But toothpaste can kind of be sketchy sometimes. So it's just kind of nice to use a product that you know doesn't have those harmful ingredients inside. So um, yeah, really been, really been having fun with that one lately. Okay, next up, I have another shower gel here. You guys know Lush shower gels and myself, we have a beautiful relationship. I always have one in my shower at all times because they're just they're just great If I had to pick another like standout lush product across the board I would say they're shower gels doesn't matter which one you pick It just depends what fragrance and feel you like they're just all so incredible They lather really well the you know range of smells and different textures are incredible The gels are typically more of a lightweight and very sudsy shower gel Whereas the shower creams which are also technically a shower gel They're a bit creamier and richer so that's gonna be good if you need a bit more moisturization But especially in the summer time. I'm a sweaty human. I've been sweating a lot. I like to go for the shower gels now during these hotter months and I have been just absolutely loving the olive branch. The olive branch is again another like cult classic product and for some reason I always just kind of overlook it. I find it's one of those products when you go in the store it doesn't really smell like much but I've realized that that's because the whole store is so fragrant that this doesn't smell like anything in comparison but once you actually take this out of the store and you bring it into your shower and start using it it actually is so good. It's kind of of um more of like I wouldn't say earthy but more of a grounded kind of smell it is not floral and girly at all the main ingredients of this one are olive oil bergamot oil fresh mandarin juice lemon oil and orange flower absolute so it's kind of this mix of this like very like gentle kind of calming I guess grounded yeah that's the word I feel like I keep going back to grounded simple kind of fragrance with some layers of citrus inside but not sweet at all mm, it was such a good shower gel to kind of change it up I feel like oh my god I was using, and I love this fragrance, so I say this from a place of love, but I was using the Lush Lord of Misrule shower gel, or shower cream, I guess, for close to probably like seven or eight months. I had the giant liter size container, and I was using that stuff every day, and I just, it took me so long to get through it, and like I said, I love that fragrance, but by the time it was done, I was like, I cannot smell Lord of Misrule anymore. I just like, I need a new smell. So I was super excited to have this one, and I've been just absolutely loving it. I'm almost, 
like just under halfway done. So super happy with this one. This is again, another fragrance that I would totally repurchase again in the future, but I probably wouldn't like repurchase it right away. Like I would use some other fragrances first, but I still really like it and um, happily impressed yet again. So love that. Okay, hopping back into some hair products. I have, oh, these are all, these are all so gross because I just took these out of my shower. This is Roots Hair Treatment. Now, again, I was just kind of like feeling, especially with a lot of time on my hands now, I was like, oh, I'm going to do a hair treatment and put on hair masks. Now, Roots Hair Treatment is a very pepperminty, spearminty, stimulating, invigorating, kind of actually similar to the idea of Big, although Big promises a bit more volume. Oh, that's actually totally a lie. The back of this says Roots gives fine or limp hair fantastic volume. Oh, so these kind of maybe like do go together in theory, the shampoo and this hair treatment. That makes sense why I like it then. So basically what you do with this hair treatment is you apply it onto dry hair. And that's also, I think a big misconception when people use hair masks, I feel like a lot of people apply it onto their damp hair. And if you think about your hair, it's kind of like a sponge. And if you pre soak your hair, it's going to absorb a bunch of that water. Whereas if you apply your hair mask onto dry hair, it'll absorb all of the product first and not already be saturated in water. So I I feel like you get a lot more benefit when you actually use any hair treatments or like leave-in hair products like this when you apply it to dry hair. So what I've been doing is honestly, I've been like really properly marinating in this. I'll like sleep in it overnight. What I will do though is apply the product, focusing it really on the scalp and on the roots of my hair, leaving kind of like the middle of my hair not too coated. And I'll either slick it back into a low bun or do some braids. And then I'll put a towel down on my bed sheet or on my um, pillowcase and I'll just kind of go to bed. What I've also been doing is just absolutely loving like the hair Hailey Bieber slick low bun slash pony. I've actually been using this to kind of get that effect. Now, to be clear, this is not a styling product at all, but if it's like one of those days where I'm just kind of like, you know, chilling around the house, not seeing anyone, obviously, like just kind of living my life, um, I'll just kind of put this in my hair all day and do that slick low bun. So it kind of looks presentable. Like I don't look like my hair is crazy. It's styled, but I'm also giving my hair lots of healthy and amazing benefits. So that's what I've been doing and I've been loving it. It looks like I've barely even made a dent in this, but I've used this probably about three or four times now as a treatment. And honestly, I still really like it. I remember loving it when I first tried it. And that is still true. Roots gets a big check mark in my books. Okay, moving on to another gross looking product. Ooh, again, this feels very vulnerable to, to show you this product close up. So this here is Buffy and this is a body butter. And basically what it is, is a block of exfoliation with all these amazing cocoa butters and shea butters. So you use this in the shower, almost like you would a bar of soap, but you use this after you use your soap and after you clean your skin and you kind of just like scrub this all over your body. It gives you an amazing exfoliation, but it leaves your skin with this like amazing, I feel like I just said amazing 500 times, but it does leave your skin with this like incredible rich kind of like buttery film on it. I know the word film doesn't sound very luxurious, but it, it does. It leaves like this bit of residue. So then when you come out of the shower, you dry yourself off. You just like already feel supple and moisturized. And I always skip out on body moisturizer after I use this product because it leaves you that soft. Yeah, especially in the summertime when I'm wearing shorts more, when I'm in bikinis, I got more skin showing. I feel like exfoliation and exfoliating products just become my best friend. And it's really just good. It does what it says it's gonna do. And I just like, honestly, like love the feeling of it. Also like on like my legs, especially, it's like I'm getting a little spa treatment in the shower. So Buffy is great. The thing about Buffy, I will say, is that the fragrance is kind of weird. Now, no one ever agrees with me, but I always say Buffy kind of smells like salami, which is not, not how I'm trying to smell. Um, but to be clear, the fragrance is quite subtle and it doesn't leave that smell on you. It's just like, if I pick this up and smell it, I'm like, oh, I kind of get a salami vibe from it. So do with that what you will. Like I said, you don't leave smelling that way, but it's interesting. You're not gonna buy this product for the fragrance. You know what I'm saying? You buy it for the effect. Still a winner in my books. Okay, all this talk about hair. I thought I would include this. <laughs> this bottle, it was like sitting sideways in my shower. This is Candy Rain, it's a hair conditioner. And I've been using this hair conditioner for probably the last, ooh, actually probably around like four to six months. I love the smell of Candy Rain. It's this kind of like coconut latte, coffee shop, vanilla energy. Again, more on the sweet side, but very decadent. But what I really like is how rich the actual conditioner is. My problem with a lot of Lush conditioners is that it didn't make my hair feel silky enough. And I find that it was still kind of feeling tangly and not, not high 
hydrated enough when I was in the shower. So Candy Rain kind of answers all of those problems for me. It just, it smells great. It leaves your hair fragranced and smelling so incredible. I feel like it's very glossy as well. I'm pretty sure they use Brazil nuts in here. Oh, it's made of cashew cream, Brazil nut milk, and coconut cream, and macadamia nut milk. So there's a ton of really rich butters and oils in here. So that's gonna leave your hair feeling super shiny as well. I feel like my hair has been looking really healthy and glossy. And um, I think part of that has to do with Candy Rain. So really been loving this conditioner. If you are looking for a new one, definitely worth checking out. And I'm definitely going to repurchase when I finish that little bit off. Okay, the last product that I have here that I wanna talk about is Magic Crystals, the shower scrub. Now, I'm pretty sure I've talked about this product maybe like a few years ago when it first came out, but I feel like this is such an underrated product and it really is so good. Now, I'm someone, I like to run quite a bit and I get quite sore muscles and sore legs. So Magic Crystals is great, especially if you're someone like that because there's actually a ton of menthol crystals inside and it kind of gives you like this tingly, cooling feeling when you use it. So after like a long, hot run, if I go in the shower, massage my calves really good with this, massage my feet, it not only gives a great exfoliation and scrub and keeps my skin feeling smooth, but it leaves my skin like with this cooling effect and it's so incredible and just uh, the best feeling. There's also a ton of Epsom salt in here, so it really just is a great product to kind of help de-stress and unwind the body. Now this smells very, very intense, very similar to the uh, White Fang toothpaste and the Roots hair treatment, just because again, a ton of peppermint oil, a ton of spearmint oil. There's gotta be something about like the summertime that I kind of crave more of the like refreshing minty kind of products. But um, yeah, this one is so good. The thing that's weird about it is that it is like this crazy neon purple, which makes you feel like it's like a child slime or like Play-Doh. Like the color is alarming, I will say that. I don't think it needs to be that intense, but hey, the product works so I can live with the purple. Yeah, it's just, again, a really good product. This one does smell really good. There's something about this type of peppermint smell. Oh, it just, it just, it smells right. Anyway, so those are all of my recent Lush favorites slash some new products that I've been trying out or rediscovered. Let me know what you think. Have you tried any of these products? Let me know what Lush products you're loving right now. I feel like you guys are so good. You always leave like good suggestions or you guys are the ones actually that told me that Yuzu and Coco was a body spray because you know my obsession with that fragrance. So you were all Instagram DMing me being like, Jacqueline, look, they're selling it as a fragrance now. So shout out to you guys. You're the real ones. And also since I am on a fragrance kick these these days apparently let me know what your favorite lush fragrance is whether it's a body spray or a perfume and let me know if you think I should check it out anyways I hope you enjoyed today's video thanks so much for watching if you like the video make sure you give it a thumbs up literally go like it do it right now subscribe follow comment you know all the things and I'll see you guys really soon bye